What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning into the Game and Reverse DL channel. So today I wanted to do another quick video for our new gamers. Many of you might already know this, but we're going to be installing the offline installer for Henkaku. So, also we have a new update for the Vita Homebrew browser, which is pretty cool. We'll see some changes within that browser and we'll go ahead and install it to our PlayStation Vita. So we'll connect our PlayStation Vita via USB with Vita Show. Remember to press select and then enable the USB. So I downloaded the file from wololo.net. I'll go ahead and put the link in there. So now I'm transferring the Vita Homebrew browser and I'm going to go ahead and install. This is the new update. Also, we're going to talk about some website that we can follow, give us a little bit more news on the PlayStation Vita. I always follow them and, and keep checking constantly through them. It gives us a lot of information, so I recommend them. You guys can follow them too. So at this moment, we're just going to launch our Vita Homebrew browser since we already installed the update. So now the pretty cool thing is that it has some highlights on the right hand side with utilities, games, ports, emulators. So it's pretty cool on the user interface, which is pretty pretty nice that they're how they're working on this application. So want to follow PlayStation hacks, console hacks, hack informer really good well Lolo app now I wanted to recommend the app database tool so it completely updates your database sometimes we're transferring games and they're not being registered so that's something you need to re update your database now we're going to download the Henkaku offline installer as well there we are PlayStation hacks console hacks hack informer console hacks and Wololo of course there's many more out there but those are one of the best so now to install the offline installer if you already launched your email then you should be fine but I have never launched my email so you just have to launch it at least once so that when you install the offline installer you don't get no errors that's it I don't even have an email in there but I'm just want to launch it to install my offline installer you know there's times that our PlayStation Vita turns off and we need Hankaku so at this moment I'm going to launch the offline installer and it's just really simple it's a pretty cool tool to have as a backup so it's gonna tell us do you want to install the offline installer or the Henkaku exploit of course we want to we press X so it does its magic as always the molecule and the creators of this tool they are amazing so now as you can see it's gonna give an alert that Henkaku was successfully installed and it gives us like a little tip that to reboot the PlayStation Vita to see if it works. At this moment I'm going to turn off my PlayStation Vita. And then I'm just going to go ahead and turn it back on. So I'll show you my settings so that you can see that I don't have Henkaku installed. So one tip, remember to auto start settings, just keep all that clear, remove those check marks. Now you can see my system software 3.60. So now let's test it, let's see if it works. Cross your fingers. Alright, so something changed on in our inbox. We have 
some information it says Henkaku offline so we select inbox now it's just like sending an email we're just going to select that Henkaku email and then it'll do its stuff by itself and it will install our Henkaku which is pretty cool so that's pretty awesome guys I mean a lot of you probably already knew this but some of our new gamers don't know this information they just wanted to create that quick video so now I'm just showing you guys again that now my, under my system information I have 3.60 with our special characters dash eight the newest update pretty cool guys exciting just a quick video if it helped hit like subscribe share with your friends as always game of reverse out